the world has changed forever. Oh yeah. 2020 with COVID, the world changed. Mm -hmm. The way our business, I mean, we were a dinosaur before that happened. We all knew we were looking at some form of extinction by the late 2030s, 2040 with the advent autonomous vehicles, but we could make K while the sun's shining for the next 15, 20 years. And you, that's still a good run. But now think about it. Prior to COVID, 2% of the American workforce worked remotely. Post COVID right now, it's between 10 and 20% in major cities far higher. And they predict roughly 40% of Americans will ultimately work remotely. Think about what that's doing to the changes in traffic patterns. And you have more autonomous vehicles. We're all gonna be fighting for cases. You know, it's changed our model. I think we need to even be more focused on just, it's, for me, it's always been wake up every morning, see what the numbers were from the day. How did Arizona do? How did Tucson do? How did Vegas do? How did Chicago do? How did India, blah, blah, blah. And you're so focused on numbers. And if the numbers go down, you're like, oh my God, my worth as a human being is gone, you know? Yep. And so um, I've become really close with Chad Dudley. And if any of you people don't know him, Chad Dudley from Dudley DeBose has become a close friend. Just one he, of the he's, sharpest. A, he's a close friend too. He's been on here like three or four times. Chad is one of the sharpest dudes I have met. You know, you think you know everything. And Chad's just a sharp dude. And he's really got me focusing more. Focus on what you have. Do better with what you have. Better in every aspect. Better customer service. Better with everything. Better case development. Don't worry so much about the numbers. You can't, you can only do what you can do with the numbers. What if you had dialed in client experience processes? What if you had a referral generation machine? Like what, do you want to go deeper into that? Because I think that's so key. I think just with every case you have, you know, I try to, I talk, you know, we have, you know, what do we have? Maybe 450 people and my attorneys, you know, I talk to all my attorneys. I, I want you to run, handle your cases as if you would, if this were your own practice, you know, you wake up every day and you go to your desk and you have hundreds and hundreds of cases and you did nothing to get them. They come like manna from heaven, from this brand we've created and we make it rain and the, that case gets assigned to you. And sometimes people just, what do they do? It's just another file. Whereas if you're a sole practitioner and you get a commercial case, what are you doing? That's like a baby. Oh my God, I'm going to take my client to pain management. Oh my God, I'm going to sit on the surgery. I mean, that's, that's your year. If that case does well, that makes your whole year. Maybe that pays for your new house or a car. And so I think one of the things is trying to get your people to focus on treating every case like it's your only case. Mm. Treat every case like it's your only case. One of it's, geez, it's only fair to the client. You know, you're trying to be the best you can on every single case. You can't take a day off, you know? Mm. And it's just human nature. It's going to happen. Stuff falls through the cracks. But all we're trying to do all the time, you're constantly trying to get better. Gosh, just because we've done okay doesn't mean I'm just going to sit back and rest in my laurels. I want to be the best I can be. So I want to get a guy like Chad Dudley. Chad, tell me where all the weaknesses are. Tell me where my holes are. I want to be the best I can be. There's no sense in doing something and not really just trying to evolve and always be better.